Proposed layoff of 20 workers at the Bernalillo County Assessor's Office is becoming a major issue. Some of those workers now claim they are being unfairly targeted. News 13's Katie Kim is live in the Newsplex with the latest. Katie? Dade County Commissioners say they cannot ignore the allegations employees made against Assessor Karen Montoya at last night's commission meeting. So the county has hired an outside firm to investigate the charges. Emotions were running high. I am one of those employees on her target list. She is dealing with our livelihood. Some of the people who work for Assessor Karen Montoya made very serious allegations against their boss, who recently announced she plans to lay off 20 workers. Most of the employees considered for the termination have either challenged her for her authority or filed complaints against her. I was made to run her personal errands on county time. For example, I was, I was told by her on several occasions to pick up her daughter from school in a county vehicle. When I refused to continue to do certain things for her, she stated she started to retaliate. Montoya plans to eliminate 27 positions, but only 20 are currently filled. She claims those positions are no longer needed because of a downturn in construction and advances in technology. I'm being a good steward of public funds. Montoya told News 13 last week that reorganizing her office will save the county more than a million dollars a year. It's been a, a, a long process and, and uh, tough decisions were made, obviously, um, uh, but it is in the best interest of the Bernalillo County. But county commissioners have questions. Is it retaliatory? Wayne Johnson says if it turns out the employees are being wrongfully terminated, there could be lawsuits and the county would be on the hook. You're always going to have somebody who's losing their job or potentially losing their job feeling like it's a personal attack. On the other hand, if it is a personal attack, then we bear responsibility and it opens up the, the county to liability. Johnson also one also said he wonders why reorganization can't be handled over time through attrition. Many of the employees at risk of losing their jobs say they've been at the county more than 20 years and are close to retirement. Karen Montoya refused to comment today. Dick, back to you. All right, Katie, no word on how long the investigation will take, but commissioners do plan to reconsider the layoffs in October.